Hey gang, we've got another fun one here today. In some ways this is a continuation of my last video because we have another R.S. Williams guitar. But uh, whereas that was a very low-end model, this is the opposite end of the spectrum. This is a hand-built guitar made by a Canadian luthier uh, called Arthur Hensel. Now Arthur, uh, as far as we know, was a German immigrant who came to Canada, to Toronto, in the early 1930s from Germany. And that was an excellent time to leave Germany. Um, it's, there's some conjecture that his father may have been a foreman in one of the larger uh, German instrument making concerns and it certainly seems like Arthur was apprenticed in the European system. Uh, his quality of craftsmanship is really high. You can see that here in the um, headstock which has been carved and incised with his name here. This is an artist model. And the background of the, the lettering, the field, has been uh, stippled with a little punch which is very Germanic. Um, excellent. The guitar has a really beautiful Brazilian rosewood fingerboard. The top is made of Adirondack spruce. The sides and back are mahogany. And the reason it's in the shop here is because though the bridge has been cut down as far as possible, it's um, the action is still a little bit high at the 12th fret. The owner at this point can't afford uh, to spend the money on a neck reset. He just wants it to play a little bit better and we're in luck because the saddle still has a little bit of meat left on it and we can take that down a little bit further. Um, there's an issue in that the um, the string windings on the uh, strings are actually coming through and up to the top of the saddle which as we've talked about in the past is not a good situation so I'm just going to glue on a little pad of maple underneath onto the bridge pad which has some cracks and has been chewed up pretty well by the ball ends of the strings over the years so we're just going to do that I'll put that on and um, so these guitars, they come up for sale every once in a while, and they uh, I think they're criminally undervalued, actually, as far as I can see. This is probably around a 1940 uh, guitar, and um, it's got really, you know, the top is fairly stout in the center, I'm guessing around three millimeters, or an eighth of an inch. It's got quite small, delicate, Martin-style X bracing with a forward-shifted X. So the uh, crossing of the X is about an inch and a quarter away from the lower portion of the sound hole here. And they're scalloped braces, very low, only about half an inch. So this is the older-style Martin uh, bracing. And um, it sounds great. It's a really excellent tone. And so I would suggest that if someone comes across one of these things online uh, or in person that don't hesitate to buy them because uh, they're every bit as good as say a Gibson L LG series guitar of the period. Uh, just there aren't that many of them out there. Um, I've seen numbered guitars from Hensel uh, into the two and three hundreds and so you know he was relatively prolif prolific for a hand builder but obviously the name does not have the cachet that uh, some of the other more uh, larger manufacturers had. Still, all in all, an excellent guitar. So I'll glue on the bridge patch and uh, we'll put some strings on it and hear how it sounds. Okay, it's all set up. Uh, still needs a neck reset. And uh, yes, this guitar definitely deserves a neck reset. Um, with the raised saddle and everything you get even more tone and sustain out of it, but it's pretty nice the way it is. Mm -hmm. 